Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omelis and today I will review the. Still gotta search it up. Highway to Hell by ACDC, by the way. But I'm just looking for. Um, you know, how many it is. How do you say that? This is amazing, an amazing intro as usual. The sixth to the album, you know. Yeah, I have no idea how to say that. Fucking hell. The, the so many. You know what I mean. The number of, the number of fucking, the number of album this was. I have no idea how to fucking say that. Fucking no. The sixth to the album by by HDs. There you go. Um, yeah, this came out in 1979. This is the last album with Bon Scott on vocals before he had a. How do you say that? An alcohol toxin. He was, uh, you know, intoxicated by alcohol, you know, he, he drank too much, so um, he passed away because of that. And I believe in this town, um, no, I can be honest, you know, somewhere in Australia, Bond Scott got buried, I believe. There's like a statue of him right now with maybe Highway to Hell or Back to Black, or, you know, or Back in Black, rather. That's fucking Amy one or something. So this album has 10 tracks. It's you know it's a pretty co cookie cutter ACDC album. It's 41 minutes, 40 seconds, 10 tracks. So it's uh, pretty typical, of course, with ACDC. Uh, it's hard rock, blues rock, and rock and roll. So this is pretty you know um, to the core, pretty classic. So we have of course the title track, you know, "High with the Hell," pretty classic. That opening riff always you know gets you in a rock and roll mood. Always really classic to hear. Bonzegold's vocals are, you know, all over the place, but it's great. Or, you know, they're just very present, which is an ACDC staple. So, yeah, you know the song, I know the song. It's it's a great one. It's it's classic, so there you go. Um, I do think that the second song is pretty funny too. Uh, Girls Got Rhythm. Not, not necessarily a favorite of mine, but I do think that this is kind of a tongue-in-cheek, kind of, you know, funny song. ACDC would perfect this songwriting in, you know, on the Back in Black album, as in uh, Giving the Dog a Bone, I believe that that is a really, like, cheeky song right there, and You Shook Me On Along, of course. But I think that Girls Got Rhythm is still, like, a great, you know, predecessor to those songs, and I still think that ACDC, you know, gets their message across fairly easily with, it, with everybody, so there you go. Great song, but I'm not a huge fan of the songwriting, so there you go. Now we have the third track, Walk All Over You. This is a favorite of mine. I just love the kind of fuck all, don't give a shit attitude that the band has on this track. That, uh, we're gonna walk all over, dun. Du -du -du. I, I love that riff, I think it's really classic. Uh, it's five minutes long. It doesn't go on for too long, I think. You know, it's a favorite of mine, so I don't mind it, you know, being a bit longer. So that's definitely always, always a favorite of, that's all, always a plus in my book. Now we have Touch Too Much, which is, you know, it's definitely kind of an excessive song. It's pretty to the, to, to the core, uh, to the nose of things. So, um, yeah, all these songs kind of, you know, they kind of speak for themselves because it's basically, it's essentially, you know, the meme, the same song, but, you know, with a different title and maybe a different riff here and there, but it's all really the same, honestly. But I do think that Touch Too Much is, uh, oh actually, when I think about it, this actually is one of my favorite tracks. I, I, you know, I kind of thought about some really, you know, trashy lyrical content and some pretty tasteless, you know, humor thrown in there. But actually when I think about, um, yeah, actually when I think about the songwriting or the, the fucking beats rather, the, the beats, the, you know, the melodies and shit. Um, uh, yeah, I actually really love this song. Like, I, I actually forgot about it a bit, but yeah, call me a noob, I know. Uh, too much of my body. Dun, 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 dun. This damn woman has got it coming. She got a touch. You, you know, it's such a fucking anthem. It's so good, I think. This might be the, my favorite of the whole album, maybe. I don't know. It's a really good track. I really love it. Um, then we get Beating Around the Bush, this is a pretty cheeky cheeky one with it really You know, that riff 
really just classic, I think, really iconic as hell. Um, I really like it because it's, you know, um, it's just a tongue and cheek kind of song that River's really addictive to listen to. Just a really classic song, I think. Uh, really nice to listen to, and the title's pretty funny too, so. Nice closing track for side one. Then we get Shot Down in Flames. I love this uh, title, but I do have to say that I do have to listen to this one a bit more because I love that title, but you know, I can't really remember this one anymore. So I will definitely, you know, I might even add it to my favorite just because of the title, but I mean, I will definitely, you know, listen to it a bit more because I can't remember it right now, but you know, it has to be a great track, right? Get It Hot, I think, is kind of cheesy. I think it's kind of, you know, this is really cookie cutter hard rock music, you know, more than usual. And I definitely think it kind of hurts the band in the long run, long run, because on tracks like Highway to Hell or Walk All Over You or Touch Too Much, you have, <clears throat> it is pretty typical, always, of course. You know, you can never deny that whenever you're talking about ACDC. But there is one riff or like one thing going on that keeps you interested you know uh, kind of an interesting riff or a catchy riff or like a kind of mystique note in a way yeah believe it or not but they can actually write those notes so uh, get on that but uh, get it a lot is not a favorite of mine it's two and a half minutes long it's the shortest track of the album too yeah definitely the least favorite of mine because you know it's kind of cheesy it's kind of thinner in a, in a way so yeah then we got If You Want Blood, You Got It, You've Got It, which is arguably my favorite song of the album. I, I kind of debate with Touch Too Much and If You Want Blood, You've Got It. The title is fucking awesome though. I believe the, the live album before or after this was titled If You Want Blood, You've Got It. I think it was before. Yeah, yeah, I think they write this song before this album. And then because it was such a big hit or they named a live album after they made a song about it or something, I don't fucking know. Uh, they probably just added it on there, so. Um, I love the lyrical content, you know. Again, if you're playing like a zombie game or whatever left for that, then you can just easily pick this song. If you want blood, you've got it. It's just fucking perfect for that. The riffs are really do 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 you've got it you, you know that riff is just classic four and a half minutes long doesn't go on for too long so yeah i think it's pretty much perfect might be my favorite of the album I'm, i still haven't decided so there you go now we get love hungry man which is kind of a take it or leave it song i think this song is kind of you know for me at least overshadowed by the other two songs because those songs kick kick so much fucking ass and i think that this song simply is just kind of cheesy but it is kind of an improved Get It Hot, I would say, because it still has kind of some cheesy lyrics like that. But it's twice as long, so it actually has time to develop and actually time to, you know, prove a point to me. And it de definitely does. But I do, do still think that the lyrical content is kind of cheesy. But, you know, it's just kind of uh, take it or leave it in a way. And then we have Night Prowler, which is probably my favorite song of the album. I did really like this song. It's like the epic closing track, six minutes long. Um, I'm a night prouder, you know. Uh, just really cool licks. Um, yeah, I just really like that they really ended on this kind of dark, haunting note with night prouder. I'm a night, night prouder. Get out of my way. It, it does kind of remind me of, how, how's the song called again? The Card or something, or The Ace? Something like that. Uh, kind of that slow build up and then, you know, it kind of delivers, it just, you know, blows you away. So, really great track. Or, well, I think... Mm, I still don't know what's my favorite. Pro probably Night Brother, I think. It's really difficult, but I think that's my different. I think that side one is flawless. I think that side two is pretty good. I think I get it hot is the worst track and love hungry man. I don't care for that much. But I think if you want blood, you've got it. And Night Prowler are amazing too. So this album is near flawless in my opinion. I'm gonna give it a 9.6 out of 10. Uh, that's my review. Like and subscribe to the channel for future likes. Let me know what you think about this ACDC album, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.